Okay guys, we are back at Kharkov and I'm happy to report that I think I, my understanding of this map is getting better and I have a better idea of what I can do and what I can't do. Now this video was originally supposed to be mainly about scouting, but after looking at it a couple times I noticed that we've got a bit of an amoeba formation going on here again and I think for sure that our deployment was more focused and concentrated and theirs was more scattered and uh, if you guys in your three pl three man platoons this is one of my strongest beliefs about World of Tanks that if you can uh, fit your deployment in with the movements of the other players on your team in order to uh, have a more concentrated and focused effort in one part of the map you'll experience more success and you will have more help uh, trying to do what you want to do so like I said I want to talk about scouting and uh, especially about timing. So this battle is well underway. Uh, we're a, a little past the three minute mark. I've been spotted in several places, other places from where I am now. And that's just standard operating procedure uh, to appear to the enemy in one place and then try to slip through in a different place. And you have to let the battle settle down uh, before you can do that. So everybody largely on both sides is caught up in their micro universe of their own individual firefight and you know they have to concentrate on what they're doing and their immediate opponent and they might not see the scouts slip through. But on the other hand, uh, once I'm back there I, I do want them to uh, notice me and chase me and get distracted and that's sort of what happens here. So I'm going to hit the space bar and advance the battle at regular speed. Now in my previous Amoeba video on this map uh, I used the avenue of approach over there. This time I'm using this one and that's lame. Uh, I should not have entered that crater. All it does is slow me down. So there's the T-34 saw me and he's a pretty good player from Rus. Now once I see the RDL I'm going to explain something. Okay. I have a feeling that most scouts and most players in this situation, they would immediately go over there and kill the arty. But I have more than one objective in this fight. Uh, so I'm going to go the other way. I want to light people up over there. And I want to create a little bit of uh, a distraction for as many people as possible and try to get them to chase me. Uh, they're irritated by my presence and it's possible that they will forget their responsibilities in the interest of eliminating this pesky light tank. So let's watch this. So I head this way and I've been observed again. Now this is interesting. The Jag Tiger has turned his gun in my direction. It's a tier 9 tank destroyer and he's pointed at me. Uh, he's platoon with that WZ-132. You know, the guy in the, in the 132 should just say, hey, dude, uh, I'll take care of it. We don't need both of us on this job. Now, another thing I should point out here is that the T-34-3 escaped. That's awesome in my book. He, he has shown a little flexibility by leaving the firefight uh, with the T-29 and the Jag Tiger and the T-32 and he's going to reinforce strength on the other side of the map and uh, I don't know who that guy is but uh, many many players in this game don't do that sort of thing but uh, he certainly uh, got out of dodge there and I'm all in favor of that so I'm going to hit the space bar here again now I didn't zigzag properly here I don't think and I got hit by that WZ-132 not for a huge amount of damage so let's watch the shots there's another shot There's the Artie shot, the T-34 shot at me, WZ-132 is chasing me. Now the, f the funny thing here is that it's side scraping of a sort. Now this is a complicated task, you know, I've got to keep my vehicle, my fat, ugly, oversized vehicle from being hit by that WZ-132 while simultaneously killing the Artie. So let's see how that goes. And that's a little bit off there, but I just bounced a shot. I mean, that doesn't happen very often, but uh, 
you know, by turning my hull there, it worked. And I bounced two gold rounds off that thing. That's not very good. Okay. WZ still looking my way. Now he's moved off. But something... Okay, there's what I was hoping for. An undamaged tier 8 heavy tank has left the fight and he's coming after me. And, you know, that's just stupid. And uh, I have XVM turned on in these replays. I don't use it in the game. Uh, but, you know, how shall I describe this guy? I suppose we could call him a weaker member of the fraternity of World of Tanks. So, you know, I'm not going to say that cost them the battle but it was a contributory factor and once again look at the mini map you know I think that is the amoeba formation again where uh, we have a greater concentration and they have more scatter and uh, that is a winning pattern I've seen it over and over again so I'm gonna hit the spacebar here and the next curious thing here which I didn't notice until I had looked at this replay a couple times is one of the stars of my previous video on my YouTube channel there, Neutron Raptor. I hit him and he bounced a shell off me. That's the second bounce. You know, this 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 tank is not very good at bouncing shots uh, compared to the, the T-50, which was awesome. And the the star of my previous video, uh, Techie 95 just killed Neutron Raptor there. So. Uh, hopefully, uh, the next time we play, we'll be on the same team again. And the final thing I want to show you here is uh, my favorite way to end a battle is to kamikaze the final vehicle remaining on the enemy team and that to be the last act of the battle. So there's my comment there in the chat to the enemy telling them there were too many scout chasers. Well... You know, it could be one of the secrets of World of Tanks with this kind of a lineup with just one arty. Maybe they should have just written that guy off and not paid any attention to me. Um, that could be the correct call in this situation to uh, not draw away any of your strength from the immediate firefight. And they didn't make that call, and I think they're paying the price a little bit. So let's just take a look here at this kamikaze. There we are. And I get a nice comment from the M103. And uh, I think that is really all I want to say about this battle. Uh, just observe the principle of concentration whenever possible. You'll have greater success. There's no doubt in my mind about that. And the second thing, all you scouts out there, take your time, select the correct avenue of approach, appear in several places before you make your move and then just use the best cover you can and even when you're back there you know try to do more than just kill that arty you've got multiple responsibilities and you can fulfill them and help your team so it's game over and i hope you guys enjoyed the video good night